we can't cook. Better get you some. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Hello lovelies, welcome back. Alright, are you ready for today's little beauty? Matchsticks. Oh my god, mate. Who loved them as much as me growing up? I tell you what, if I go past an old country town bakery and I see one of those big beautiful matchsticks in there, it's a goner. It's got my name on it. So today, I'm going to show you the best way to make them using a frozen puff pastry. So the first thing we need to do is grab out two cookie trays two pieces of baking paper and we want to preheat our oven at 200 degrees celsius so now we need to get out one sheet of frozen puff pastry and we leave it there to thaw out while our oven is heating up now today i'm just going to make two normal size ones that you'd buy if you went to a bakery now it's thawed out we get ourselves a knife okay the first thing we want to do is fold it in half now when we do this you don't want to push down on the whole thing because it'll be hard to unstick it so we just want to bend down the seam carefully peel it apart again now cut down that seam now with the two sides we want to do the same thing get it exactly halfway just go to the middle and then push down the seam open it back up and same with the other side and cut our four strips even strips once we've got our four strips cut we want to grab our first bit our first cookie tray and piece of baking paper now we just want to carefully unpeel them and sit them all on there and give them a little bit of room in between all right once we've lined them on our first tray with baking paper like so and we give them a little bit of room we're going to get our next piece of baking paper sit it on top just gently it on top push it down like that then we're going to get our next cookie tray and we're going to sit it on top of that now we're going to bang it straight in the oven like that as soon as it's hot enough we're going to cook it for five minutes then we're going to turn the tray completely around and then we're going to cook it it could take between another five and ten minutes it really depends on your oven <sighs> okay oh it's hot take it straight off so it was five minutes and then i turned the tray around it was exactly seven minutes later so all up it took 12 minutes and this is what they look like oh yeah baby yum so now we just set them aside and let them go completely cold so now we've got to get our cream ready so normally i would just beat my cream up and then just put it on with a spoon but because we're doing it for the show and i want to take a decent photo i'm just going to get one of my piping bags now these ones are made of that like latex stuff and they're absolutely brilliant um you can just wash them and use them over and over and over now i bought mine i don't know a couple of years ago now from wish this is a big one that i usually use for my um sausage roll mix now when i wash them what i normally do is i'll get my uh washing bottle washing dishwashing liquid bottle and i'll put it over like this and that's how i would let them dry out so i'm just going to get a long glass a tall glass put my piping bag in it and then just wrap the sides down over it like a so get a hole happening for it so when we've done our cream it's all ready to go and we can just put it straight in there right, i'm going to guess 300 ml of cream for two of them we want the cream nice and sweet for these so i'm putting quarter of a cup of icing sugar in one teaspoon of vanilla extract now we're going to get our electric beater out and we're just going to beat it up until it's thick what do they say soft peaks form ones where you beat it all up get our thing so you can see and just spoon all our cream in and then once we've done that just stick it in the fridge until our things have cooled down completely Alrighty, our pastry is cold and now it's time to put them together just like that <laughs> all right so the original ones you would put raspberry jam on the bottom but you know me, I'm not original and I love apricot jam. So I'm doing mine with apricot jam today. Now you can do them with raspberry, strawberry, apricot, any jam you want. Uh, you can do it with honey and make honey ones. 
You can do our homemade lemon spread and make lemon ones. You can use our homemade caramel spread and do caramel, salted caramel or our peanut brittle. Oh, if you want them hazelnut, you can use Nutella. Like You can make them any flavour you want. Mix and match it around a bit. So you just want jam on the bases. Now you can put as little as you much as you want on. It's all up to your taste, but oh my god, smash it in there. Alright, so now I pull our cream out, twist the top on, and then slowly push it down to get the air out until we've got the cream at the end. I don't know, I'm just gonna, I don't normally do this, like I said, I normally just put them on with it. I'll just see what happens. I've still got a bit more left, so I'm just going to do another little one on top. So yeah, I would say 300 Camilla cream is just perfect for two of them. Alright, so now we just gently put our lids on. Push down the tiniest little bit until the cream goes near the edge. I love just using one of these little strainer things, they're awesome. So we just put a little bit of icing sugar in there and then just tappity tap 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 and coat the tops. What a little pearler, hey? The good old matchstick. How easy are they to make? Oh my god. So I put the tray on top to stop the pastry all rising up and then you've got to smash it all down later and it, it just sort of takes everything out of it. Doing it this way, the pastry is absolutely beautiful. I mean, beautiful. So yeah, definitely give them a crack. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves an awesome day and I'll see you really soon. Bye.